in the last video we talked about how to create a data extract on IPUMS and I told you that whenever your data was ready you'd get an email from IPUMS, much like this one, and it includes a link that you should click and it's going to take you back to where you download your data. And before there was nothing listed under formatted data, but now we have a Stata file listed here. If you have something else listed here, if it doesn't say Stata, uh, if the, there are dashes here instead, that means that you forgot to tell IPUMS that you wanted a Stata formatted data set. And in that case, you need to click Revise and go back and make sure that the data format right here is set to Stata. And you can change it by clicking the Change link. However, mine is fine, so I'm going to keep going. But keep in mind, if you don't have this Stata formatted option here and you got the email, that means that you didn't get the right data type. So go back. Revise your extract, pause the video, and then come back to learn how to open it up in Stata. So when you're ready to download your data, you just click on Formatted Data, the Stata link there. And I'm on a PC, so this may look slightly different on your computer, but basically what you want to do is save the file to your computer. And so my file is downloading. So my data file finished downloading. And you'll notice that it's a .dta.gz file. And what this means is that I can't just open this in Stata. I first need to unzip it. So I'm going to open this in Windows Explorer. So mine is just in the Downloads folder. Now, if you have a Mac, you can just double click on this file, and then it will automatically extract the Stata.dta file. So that's really easy. Go ahead and do that and you can ignore the next thing I'm about to say. If you are on a PC like I am, you need to use a special program to extract the data from this .gz file. So this is just compressing it because otherwise it would be a really large file. I like to use 7-zip for this. It's freely downloadable. You can go to your favorite web browser and type 7-zip.org and you can download it uh, for Windows, either for 32-bit or 64-bit. If you have any problems with that, you can go to the help desk and they'll help you out with installing it. But once you've installed 7-zip, you are ready to open up your extracted file. So I'm going to grab 7-zip here. And once you open up 7-zip, it's pretty straightforward. So I'm in my downloads folder. And I just want to find my IPUMS file, which is called USA. So here it is. And I just double click on it. And then I click Extract. And it's asking me where do I want to put this. I'm just going to put it in my Downloads folder. But um, I suggest that you make a special Econ203 project folder. And then you keep everything really organized. So I'll click OK. It's extracted my file for me, and now if I close 7-zip and go back to my downloads folder, you'll notice that I have a new file, usa25.dta, without that gz extension. And I can simply double click on this, and it's going to open right up in Stata. And I can now begin to explore my data by doing something basic like count. I can summarize my variables and start exploring uh, all of my data, and it's as simple as that. The key thing is if you're on a PC, you need to remember to extract the data file from that GZ extension, um, and you also want to make sure that you downloaded a DTA file because that's a Stata file. If you find when you've done this extraction that you have a .dat file, that means you downloaded the raw data. It's just a huge chunk of numbers. And that means you need to go back to IPUMS, revise your extract, and make sure that you download formatted data that is suited for Stata. And that's it. You're ready to go and start analyzing your data.